Hey guys, this is Coffee, Jewelry, and Jokes, and I'm Jen, and I'm back with a new video. This is Shop Goodwill Lot number 37. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy this, and um, I just have to tell you a few things real quick, but first of all, my show is Coffee, Jewelry, and Jokes because I always have coffee. I get jewelry from Shop Goodwill and I sort through the jewelry looking for pieces to resell. And some of it is a joke and it goes in this box right here. And in the last video, I forgot to tell you that anything in that box is a dollar. I always say that, but I wasn't thinking and I forgot. Um, anyway, also in the last video, <laughs> I watched it earlier and I realized, I don't know what I was thinking, but... I measured this necklace and when I measured it I measured it from the end here to right here and then I said it was 15 inches and then I said there was an extender well there's no extender so I don't know what I was thinking guys I think I was just not thinking because I wasn't feeling great and then I noticed that I said that, and I was like, what am I saying? So anyway, it just has this chain, and then this over here, this part of the chain. So, there's no extender. So anyway, just ignore me if I say something that makes no sense. Because normally, I figure it out later after I've uploaded the video, and then I feel... Like, I have to explain myself, but I wanted to tell you that, so. All right, I'll get started. Okay, I laid some things out on the table, guys, because there were some necklaces in the bag that were tangled, and I wanted to untangle them. All right, so I'll start with this one. Okay, well, this is marked, and it says... VJ. I don't know who that designer is, but this is on like a fishing type wire and it has these little balls and it's not in great shape. The wire is a little bit stretched. It's okay, but it's not marked like it's not sterling or anything. Um, but it just has these little balls here. So I'm putting this in the box. If someone wants it for a dollar, then, you know, it's still wearable and everything, but this, um, whatever it's called, this like dental floss type chain, not chain, but wire is not great. Okay? Or fishing line, whatever you want to call it. All right? So it's going in the box. All right. Okay. So next, I have this necklace. And this is a pretty one. It says, I love you for always and forever. And this is rose gold. Well, it's a rose gold color anyway. And it is sterling. I did look this up online and I found this exact necklace on Amazon. And on Amazon it said... These were, um, well, this was a birthstone necklace, um, but they're CZs. However, when I tested the stone, it did go up to garnet. So I'm not sure why that is. But anyway, this is sterling. It's marked here too. And on Amazon, it is $99, which I thought was kind of high. But it has all of these CZs, the clear ones and the red. And I'll measure it real quick. All right, so it's about, um, it's about 16 inches. And wait a minute, let me just double check this. Hold on guys, I'm still moving a little slow. All right, um, no, it's about 17 inches, and then it has a two-inch extender, okay? So 
So it's really pretty, it looks new. And like I said, you can find this on Amazon for $99. So if anyone wants it here, I can do that for 45. So that's less than half. All right, next I have this. This is a dragonfly. And the artist's name is Miller Designs. It's Gail Barker Miller. And it tells you what it is made of. And I saw this online. I think it was $17. Um, but if someone's interested in it, it's pretty cool. I can just do that for eight. So I like that one. All right, and going along with the dragonfly theme, I have these earrings. These are really cute. These say Jody Coyote. And it says here, sterling silver or gold filled ear wire. So I'm assuming this one has a gold filled ear wire, even though it doesn't say anything because I tested the silver part and it had a very faint blue color, but I don't think these are silver. So I'm assuming these wires are gold filled, even though it doesn't say it. Um, but they look really nice and I don't see any wear on these. They're so cute. Um, but I can do those for 12. There's the back. These were made in I guess 1999. Well, at least it's a copyright of 1999. So those are really pretty. They have a nice color to them, nice gold and silver color. And from the top of the hook to the bottom is about one and one third inches. So they're super cute. All right, and then I wanted to show you these because I cleaned these. These were the Monet earrings that were filthy. I cleaned them pretty well. So they're in really good shape, I think. Um, but if someone's interested in these, I can do them for eight. And I got this little pin, it just says US, so this is a military pin. I can do that one for two. Uh, and I got these, these are awesome guys. Okay, so these are celluloid and they're also gold filled. So they say AC on them and they're 12 karat gold filled. Really pretty. I could clean them up a little bit, but they're in really good shape I think. So if someone's interested in these, I can do these for 34. They're vintage, they're celluloid, and they're gold filled, which is nice. Okay, and then I have this necklace, this is cool. So this one says 14 karat gold filled. I love these little rings here at the top of the chain. And then it has this little blue crystal. And here's the chain. And it has this blue crystal at the bottom. And this tests as glass. It's pretty. And then it has a couple more. So this is a dainty chain, but it is really nice, I think. And I'll tell you how long this one is. Okay, I just put lotion on my hands, so sorry. They're a little bit slippery. Okay. So this one is about 18 inches. And then this extender is 2 inches. I love that extender. It adds to the necklace, I think. Alright, so that one again is 14 karat gold filled. It's in good shape. 
All right, then I have this little constellation. Um, this one is the constellation for Virgo, apparently, because I looked this up. And it's just on a little gold tone chain. The gold tone is really nice. It's in good shape. I think that's really cute. And I think the stones are glass, but I'll check them real quick. Yeah, the stones are glass and they're clear. But that's a fun necklace. And I will measure this. Mm, it's about 17 inches. And the extender is two inches. That one's really cute. It's in good shape. There's no tone loss to that at all. So if someone likes this little necklace, I can do that one for eight. It's very cute, I think. All right, and then I have this necklace, and this one is missing a couple stones. So I have to see if I can find two stones, but this one is pretty sure it's Monet. Um... This one. Oh wait, that says patented. Yeah, Monet. So this is an older clasp. And there's the back. I'll lay it out so you can see it. I just have to see if I can find two stones for it, guys. Because the gold tone's really nice. So other than those stones missing, it's in good shape. The chain looks nice. The clasp looks good. And this one is about 16 inches. So I'm going to have to see if I have two stones before I give a price. Because obviously it's not going to be easy to sell if it's not complete. But that one's pretty. All right, then I have this necklace. This one has some clear stones. Huh, I wonder if they would fit. I don't know, they might fit. Um, but I was gonna throw this in the box just because the chain is broken. But I'm going to see if I can salvage stones out of that. I don't know if they'll match, so I'll have to see. All right, then I have this Pura Vita necklace. This is in bad shape. North, south, east, west it is not silver. So this one's going in the box. All right, then I have this. This is cute. So this has a little bird and a rose, a key, and a star. And it's on a silver tone chain. And I like how the bird is sitting on the chain like that. This one is not marked. So I don't know who made this, but it is cute. Again, there's the bird. I just think that's pretty. I'll measure it. All right, that one's 18 inches. And that's just a really pretty necklace in my opinion. And it looks good. There's no tone loss to that. I really kind of like that one. And I can do that for seven. And I have this bracelet. This is pretty. And these are faceted blue glass beads on a gold tone wire. It's really nice, I think. It reminds me of that uh, bourbon and bow ties, but there's no tag on this one. And the opening is about two and two thirds inches. This is in really good shape and it has a nice look to it. The stones are not real big, so it's not like bulky or anything, but I think it's really pretty. So if somebody's interested in that one, I can do that for seven. All right, then I have this 
gold tone chain bracelet. And I like the look of the gold. The only problem is, I don't know what's going on with the clasp, but when I try to close it, it doesn't close all the way. So I have to work with this and see if I can get it to close. But this gold tone is really nice and I like how the metal has a design in it. I just think that's cute. Do you guys think that's cute? I like that one a lot. It's not marked anywhere though, but it's in really good shape other than that clasp. And it's about seven and a half inches, or actually, and it might be seven. That's uh, seven, seven inches. So I'm gonna have to research this one a little and then like I said, see if I can get the clasp to close. just a pretty gold tone. All right, then I have this chain. Um, this one says Korea, so it's a silver tone Korea chain. It's a nice little silver tone chain. And it's about mm, 17 inches. It's in good shape. There's no wear to that at all. I can do that one for six. Oh, and I want to show you this. Okay. So I threw this in the joke box last time, but I took it out to look at it just because I got so many good rings and I kind of just um, disregarded this one. <laughs> but then I looked at it. It was marked 925. So I did test it. I know I didn't want to mess up the gold, but I was really curious. And it did test a sterling. I mean, I didn't make too much of a mark, but there's a little tiny mark. Um, but it's strange because I don't know what this is supposed to be here, this pink um, beaded area, because they're not testing as anything. So this one is definitely sterling with a gold plating. And it is, I think it's uh, size 11, but hold on. I'm gonna double check. It might be 11 and a quarter. I cannot remember. All right, so it's about an 11. Yeah, 11. There's the little spot, you can see it. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen a ring like that. That was sterling. I don't know if anybody would be interested in that one. And then I have this necklace and this is a silver tone with this pretty blue green stone with some tassels. It's in good shape. Kind of reminds me of paparazzi. I don't know if it is. The stone is glass, but I think it's pretty anyway. It's pretty long. Here's the back. And it measures about 32 inches. And this one has about a two and a half inch extender. I think it's pretty. And like I said, I don't know if it's paparazzi guys, but it reminds me of paparazzi a little bit. So I'm just gonna say five on that, just in case. All right, then I have this and this is an ankle bracelet. And guys, this might have been from another lot because I had a few things here um, and this looks familiar to me. So this one is nine inches. So this is an ankle bracelet. It's a gold tone, really pretty. I don't see anything on the clasp. 
that I can tell. Um, there's the other part of the clasp. Uh, hold on, let me just double check it. Yeah, I think that's just a gold tone, guys, but it's a pretty ankle bracelet. The chain looks really nice, see? So, I can do that for five if somebody likes it. All right, and then I have this, and this one is sterling. This is celluloid. This is awesome. And it's marked, hold on, let's see if I can show it to you. It says sterling, and then it says cavernous, C-A-V-I-N-E-S-S. -S. And I've heard of that designer before. I'm trying to remember the first name, but I can't. Um, and then it also says, it looks like it says Germany. It's hard to see it. Yeah, see it under there? Looks like it says Germany or German. And it looks like there's a date on there. 19, looks like a 195 something. And that's really cool. If I can think of the name, I think it's Alice, but I'm not sure. But that is awesome. Cavernous is a good designer, guys. And if I'm saying it right, <laughs> But anyway, it's really pretty. I'll tell you how long it is. It's about one and three quarter inches. All right, then I have this necklace. This one's not great. This uh, clasp has some wear. This has some orange beads. And then this pendant. Here's the back. It's on a wire or wires. So I'm putting this in the box for a dollar. All right, then I have these. These are cute. Animal print. I just need another backing for them. I could do those for three. They're a loose light. And then I have this, and this is gorgeous. Okay, so I am thinking this is Jade. Hold on, I'm testing it. Yeah, it's going up to Jadeite. And I'm not sure about the green stones. The green, oh, the green stones are going up to the emerald. Emerald area on my gem tester. The only problem is one of the ends of the clasp is missing, so hopefully it's in the bag. But this is Mark 925. And I have not um, polished it or anything. So I'm going to see if I can find the other piece. Because that would be a really nice bracelet if it had the other part of the clasp. So... Isn't that pretty? I love that one. All right, then I have this, and I absolutely love this necklace. Okay, so this one is on a string, but it has all of these geometric um, metal pieces here, but in many of them, there are gemstones. Some of them don't have any stones, and that's the way it is because I researched this. But all of these stones are gemstones. So there's blue. There's like yellow, which I'm assuming is citrine. There's quartz. Amethyst. I'm not sure what the blue is. Uh, the blue is going up to aquamarine. I think this necklace is gorgeous. And there's no clasp, but it is long, so I'll, just, I'll lay it out so you can see it.
I think that is gorgeous. And it's about, um, I would say 40 inches, but wait, let me just double check. Um, 38 inches. I just love this necklace. I think it's so pretty. It's in really good shape. It has no wear. And I just think that's beautiful. Um, I'm going to say 40 on that. All right, so now I'll pull some stuff out of the bag. Now, this video will probably be in two parts because there's a lot of jewelry in this bag, guys. There's some other stuff in this bag, too, that's not jewelry like this. Why? Look, there's even a domino. So first I have this party like a leprechaun pin. That's cute. Um, I'll do that for two. And I have this stretch bracelet. This looks like a kid's bracelet. I'll just put this in the box. And then I have this little ring. This is cute. This is not marked, but it's pretty. I really like that, guys. I think it is so cute. And these are a smoky gray color. And they're testing his glass. That is a cute ring. Um, I'm going to say five on that one, guys. That's adorable. All right, then I have... Oh, wait, let me, let me show you this first. Okay, then I have this one. And I think this one is glass, too. Yeah, that's testing is glass. That one's cute, too. I like that, and all the stones are there. All right, I can do that one for five also. And here's another one. And that's a nice one. It's a little bit bigger. That's pretty. The back looks really good. So this looks like it hasn't been worn, really. All of them look good. That is so cute. This is comfortable too. Like that feels good on my finger. All right. Um, I'm going to say six on that one, guys. That's a nice ring. All right. Then I have this necklace. And this is my daughter's name. <laughs> um, she would probably not wear it though. Maybe when she was like 12. That's cute though. I'm just going to put that in the box for a dollar. 
All right, then I have this little ring. This one is not in great shape. That looks pretty junky. Mm, it's small. Yeah, I don't think that's silver or anything. I'll measure it. All right, that one is five and a quarter. So I'm just going to put this in the box. So if somebody wants this for a dollar, you can have it. All right, then I have these earrings. These are pretty, they're Park Lane. And there are AB stones. And there are gold tone. The gold tone looks good. I think those are nice. They're a pink color. And these are testing as glass. Those are cute. Uh, I can do those for seven. They are nice. All right, and I have this. So this has a big pendant, and this is a gunmetal with some smoky stones and some black and clear faceted beads and a gunmetal chain. That's kind of cool. The chain is heavy, so it has some weight to it. And it's actually in good shape. And these stones are glass. I'm not sure about the other ones. The beads are going up to glass also. It's kind of a fun necklace. Um, I can do that one for five. Hold on, I'll tell you how long it is. This one is about 30 inches. This pendant's pretty big. So five for that. All right, then I have this bracelet. This is like that other one in the last video or the one before, I can't remember. It's a stretch bracelet, but some of the stones are missing. So it's kind of a neat stretch bracelet, but it's not complete. And it has a little bit of wear too on some of these stones. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the box. So if somebody wants it to craft with, it'll just be a dollar. Pretty cute though. All right, and I have these little earrings. Oh, okay, fine now. They have clear stones. They're just a gold tone. I think they're clear stones. Hold on. I'm probably going to put this in the box, but I want to look at these real quick. All right, so the stone is pretty. It's clear, but it has some pastel colors in it. That's kind of cute. Um, yeah, and these are testing as glass. Uh, there's the back. Okay, these are just a gold tone. They're not marked or anything, guys. 
I like the stones though. That's a pretty stone. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do, do uh, two on those. Cause those stones are nice. Okay, then I have one of these tennis style bracelets with clear stones. And they're all there. And these are glass. Actually, they're going high up in the glass range. Well, not really. Okay. They're glass. Um, and this is a gunmetal. That's not bad. Uh, I can do that for two. And I have this one, but it's missing a stone. So that won't be for sale. All right, then I have this bracelet. This is really nice. Okay, this looks like it's plated. I don't see anything on here, but that's a pretty bracelet. I like that chain. Hold on, I'll measure this. Okay, it's about seven and a half inches. Uh, it's got some dirt there. I didn't see that before. I think that'll come off though. Yeah, it's coming off. It's coming off. I just have to clean it. But that's coming off, so it's not wear. So that one just needs to be cleaned a little bit. Not sure about a price for that yet. All right, then I have this. This is really neat. So this looks like a vintage necklace. Here's the chain. It does have a spring ring. And does that say something? Oh, that looks like it might say something, but I'm not sure. Hold on, I'm gonna look at it with my loop. No, it just has a couple little lines on it. So I'm thinking maybe someone tried to see if it was gold. Hold on, I'm still checking. See, I've seen something like this before. I'm going to have to research that. Kind of interesting. This spins. The gold is kind of bright. I mean, you can tell that it's just a costume necklace. I don't know. I'm going to look that up. See if I can find one. Okay, this is a little kid's bracelet, but it's bent. Now it's going in the box. And then I have this one, BFF, that's cute for a kid. I'll put that in the box for a dollar. All right, and I have this, this is really pretty. Ooh, I like that one, guys. There's the back, I don't see anything written on that, but that is so pretty. So it looks like copper, brass, and a silver tone. That is really cute. Um, I'm gonna say eight on that one, guys. These lots did not disappoint. The last few videos have been 
lots that I got from the same place. All right, so these are rose gold color. I don't see anything written inside. And they have some glitter. I mean, they're not anything to write home about, but they're okay. I'll just put those in the box, guys, for a dollar. Then I have these, and these are a gold tone. And again, nothing written inside. I'll just do those for a dollar, too. I don't know what's going on right there. But I'll do those for a dollar. And I have this. This looks like a vintage necklace. Okay, so this has a silver tone spring ring. I don't see anything on there. It's a silver tone chain with these enamel beads. Those are pretty. This reminds me of Delft Pottery. That is so cute. I'll measure this one. All right, that is about 15 and a half inches. That is really cute. I like that necklace. Definitely looks like Delft, guys. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to research that one. I'm not sure yet. All right. And I have this necklace with an earring stuck to it. Okay, I'm going to move this stuff over. All right. Some of these beads have some color loss. Uh, it's like a brass tone chain, but I'm putting this in the box. So if somebody wants that for a dollar, it's yours. a silver tone chain. This one's pretty. Oh, this one's nine west. That's a nice chain. That is really pretty. I like the silver color of this. This one is about I would say 40 inches or 38. Hold on. This one is... Oh, it's about 42. That is a pretty one. Alright, not sure about that yet. I like that chain though. Alright, then I have these earrings. These are acrylic. They look older. And these hooks are a brass tone. Uh, they have little beads at the bottom.
Those are kind of cute. I don't know. I mean, they're not like perfect. I'm not sure about those guys yet. I'll think about it. All right, then I have this necklace. This is pretty. So this is a cross necklace with some blue and red stones. These are probably how light. All right, the blue stones. Yeah, the blue stones. Definitely how light. And the red ones most likely as well. Yeah. And the clear stones are going to glass. That's a cute necklace. There's the back. And here's the chain at the top. That one's kind of fun. Um, this one is about 18 inches. And it has a three inch extender. Here, I'll lay this one out so you can see it better. That one's cute. I kind of like that. It's not marked or anything. And then it has these silver tone beads. Some are faceted. And then it has these beads. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be some kind of a mark. I don't know what that is on there. Or a symbol or something. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to say 12 on that. All right, then I have another cross in here. Okay, this one has a gunmetal chain. And then this cross with some filigree and clear stones. And then these clear stones. I think they are acrylic though. Okay, these clear stones are glass. Uh, yeah, and these are acrylic, the beads. That's pretty. Here's the chain. I mean, that's simple and understated, but still cute. Um, I'll say five on that one. Put it back in the bag. That's not bad at all. All right, then I have this bracelet. So this has some wire, like a mesh that runs around the outside and then there are some beads in there, clear beads. And that's not marked. Um, I'll just say two on that. It's different. All right, then I have this. Oh, it's missing some beads. And it's not in good shape. Okay, so this is going in the box. Alright, 
Then I have these earrings. These are interesting. Okay, so these are acrylic. And I'm not sure what's inside. It looks like foil, kind of. These are a green color. And the posts are silver tone. Those are kind of fun. I can do those for three. Then I have this necklace. This looks like it's copper. And this one has some shell. And then beads. It's not marked. There's the chain. Here are the beads. And the shell pieces. Or mother of pearl. That one's different. And the beads are not moving, so they're acrylic. So this one has two strands. Have a fun necklace too. Um, I'll tell you how long this is. All right, so this one measures about 19 inches, and the extender is three inches. Kind of pretty actually. That's unique. Uh, I'll say five on that, guys. Alright, and I have this little bracelet. Oh, Tree of Life. That's cute. Here's the back, here's the front. That one's pretty. And it has some clear stones. The stones are moving, but I think they're acrylic because they're not quite moving the needle high enough. But this is a pretty bracelet. It has two hearts on the end. And I don't see anything on here. That's a pretty bracelet though. And it's adjustable. I'll say five on that one, guys. It's in really good shape. I don't see any wear. I like that. Nothing on the back. Yeah, I'm going to say five on that. All right, then I have this little bracelet. This has a unicorn, a heart. A lollipop and these beads. That is cute. That's just a little kid's bracelet, I'm assuming. Yeah, because it's not very long. It's about Five inches with a one and a half inch extender. That's cute. Um, I'll say two on that.
All right, this one's pretty. Okay, so this is a soft gold tone. And I like these beads. Look, it has a leaf, a flower. This one here, not sure what that is. Another one like it, a bead, a bead. Some silver tone beads, a pink bead. And then this tassel here with a little flower. That's really cute. It's like a golden brass tone. There's nothing on that heart. But I like these beads. And it's not long. It's about 16 inches. And it does have an extender that is 3 inches. This one's actually pretty. I love that leaf and flower. But I'm not sure what brand this is because it has a heart, but it's not marked. I don't see anything on the glass. Let me test these beads and see if they're glass. I don't think they're glass, but no, they're acrylic. Yeah, that is so cute though. I think that one's really pretty. I'm gonna say six on that guys. It's unique. All right, then I have this single earring. Hopefully I have the match. That's pretty. I'm thinking this is Lucite, but hopefully I have the match to it. All right. Okay. All right, I'm thinking these are 1928, guys. Even though the bag says something different, these are not Jeffrey Bean earrings. Those are really nice. These have got to be 1928. Just checking the stones. Okay, they're acrylic. Those are really pretty. You can tell by the back who the designer is. So this one has some like uh, champagne colored stones and then amber stones in the middle. Those are really cute. And these are uh, like a coppery color. Those are pretty. Those are really pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're 1928. They're really nice. Good brand. Just put them back in the bag. Okay, I have this bracelet. Oh, nine west. All right, guys, I think this matches that necklace. That's a nice bracelet. Okay, I'm going to have to research that with the necklace because I don't know what these go for. But it definitely matches. So that's good. And this bracelet looks like it's about seven inches. Yep, seven inches. Really nice. It's a nice silver color. 
All right, that's a good set. Okay, then I have this necklace. Oh, that says Italy. It says something. 925. So this is a Vermeil or Verme. I'm not sure how you say it. Um, that looks like it says Dane Craft. So this one is dirty. Either that or some of the gold tones coming off. So that's saying sterling. I'm going to have to test it. That's interesting. I've never seen a Dane craft like that. That's a cool one. All right, I will test that. Ooh. Look at this one, guys. Okay, I love that. And that says sterling. All right, guys. I don't know. I love this ring. Okay, guys. I'm going to keep this one. That is so cute. That is so cute. I'm keeping it. I'm sorry. I'm checking the stones out. The stones are going to glass. That is so cute. All right, I love it when I get stuff that I like. I usually only keep rings from the lots. And I love that ring. Yay, I'm happy about that. All right, what's this one? Ooh. Okay, that says 10K, I think. Something A, K, 10K turkey. Well. I'm going to have to test that because it's not really heavy. That is really nice. I'm just looking on the clasp. Yep, the clasp says it. All right. I did not expect that. I'm just trying to get it open. That one is about seven and a half inches. That is so pretty. Look at that. Yay. All right, I will test that. It just doesn't feel very heavy, but it doesn't always mean anything. All right, then I have this one. This looks like celluloid. Look at those flowers. That's really cool. That looks old. I'm not sure about the black beads. Ooh, the black beads are gone to glass. So this must be maybe check glass. Well, that's nice, guys. Look at that. That's an old necklace, and these are hand knotted. All right, I gotta do some research on that one. 
Yay, another good one. All right, then I have this elephant. Oh, it's missing legs. That's going in the box. I have this little earring. That's pretty. I like the clasp. And the back's a little worn. I'm not sure about the stone. Oh, let me test the stone. Okay, the stone's going, ooh, ooh, sorry, I hit the metal. Man, that woke me up. The stone's going to glass. That falls all over it. That one looks old. It almost looks like it's plated. Hold on, I gotta find my loop. I'm just gonna look at it real quick to see if I see anything. Yeah, some of this gold tone is worn off. I don't see anything. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at that later. It's really dirty though. So it's hard to tell, guys. All right, I got two earrings here. That's pretty. So this is a silver tone teardrop earring. Can't get it to focus. No. That one's pretty. I'm gonna have to see if I have the match. And then I have this one. Uh, that one's kind of nice. Hold on, I'm gonna look at the post. This feels like silver somewhat, but it's probably not. No. Okay, so this one is just a silver tone hoop. Not bad, it's okay. All right, then I have this bracelet. I'm not sure if this is leather or faux leather. It's a guy's bracelet. It's like a dark brown with a brass button. And these knobs, little knots. Not knobs, knots all the way around. Or beads. I don't know why I said knots or knobs, guys. <laughs> beads. That one is nine inches. It's not bad. This one's in good shape. I'll just say four on that. Then I have this one. There's the inside. I don't see anything written in there. This one is 10 inches, so that one's even bigger. It's in good shape. That's in really good shape. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna look this up. I'll just show you a couple more things and then I'm going to have to end this here and then I'll do a part two. All right, and then I have this with some shell. I'm not sure if this is anything. It's 
It's going to glass. That's unique. All right, I'll have to see if I have the match to that one. And then I have this earring, that's pretty. That's an interesting one. I'll have to see if I have the match to that. It's kind of cool because look, when the light goes through it, you can see the design. And I'm thinking that is, I don't know, it might be Lucite. It's really light. That's pretty. Okay, so I'll see if I have the match to that. And then I have a couple more single earrings here. So I'll have to see if I have the match or matches to these. And then I'm not sure what this goes to. It looks like maybe it's part of an earring. That one's pretty. Gunmetal. And then I have this one. This one's nice with some blue beads. And it's articulated in the back. That one's pretty. Hopefully I have the match to that. All right, then I have this necklace. This looks old. Not real old because of the clasp, but this one has some interesting beads. So there are some gold tone beads, some cream colored, some clear with this gold um, etched design. That one's interesting. I like that. Um, not sure about that. I'm gonna have to research that too. All right, guys. Um, I'm probably gonna end it right now. Yeah, I think I need to end it because. Most likely, I'm um, over an hour. All right, guys. So, I have a lot left in the bag. But, I'm most likely over an hour right now. So, I'm going to end it. And, I will put prices up. And then, I will do part two. Okay? So, I hope you liked the video. I'm still a little out of it, to be honest. Um, but... I'm getting there, so. All right, so I hope you liked everything, guys. And have a good day or night whenever you're watching this. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.